Hi everybody, it's your old friend Mr. Kennedy. I'm going to teach you how to use the addition and subtraction identities to prove trig formulas and to find trig angles that are different from the famous ones that we already know. We memorize those, right? So here's what you do. I'm going to do an example. Let's say I want to find the exact value of the cosine of 105 degrees. So what I need to do is I need to figure out, can I rewrite 105 as the addition or subtraction of two of these famous angles that we know. And if you think for a second, uh, let's see, 60 plus 45. That'll work. All right, so once you figure that out, now you go to your little trig cheat sheet and you find out what's the cosine of A plus B. All right, so you look that up and it turns out it's cosine 60 times cosine 45 minus sine of 60 sine 45. And now these are all famous angles that we know. We know from the unit circle that the cosine of 60 degrees is one half. You have to think about that. The cosine of 45 is radical 2 over 2 minus the sine of 60 is radical 3 over 2 and the sine of 45 is radical 2 over 2. Remember that first quadrant? You've got to memorize that. So now I just multiply. So I get radical 2 over 4 minus radical 6 over 4. And that's basically my answer. Radical 2 minus radical 6 all over 4. That's an exact answer. And I'm done. How simple. All right, here's a second example where I'm going backwards. This one, they give me sine of 20 times cosine of 40 plus cosine of 20 times sine of 40, what's that equal to? Well, 20 and 40 are not famous angles, but this does take the form of an addition identity. So if I go to my cheat sheet and I look it up, what's sine cosine plus cosine sine? You look that up, that's the sine of a sum, sine of 20 plus 40. Okay, and 20 plus 40 is 60. That's a famous angle. I know, that, I know from the unit circle that the sine of 60 degrees is radical 3 over 2. And that's my final answer. So that's equal to that because of the trig identity. How simple. All right, here's my last example. I'm going to do a proof. They want me to use addition and subtraction identities to prove that the cosine of pi over 2 minus u is equal to sine u. So I need to go to my cheat sheet of trig identities and look up what's the identity for cosine of a difference, cosine of subtraction. So if you look that up, you get cosine pi over 2 times cosine u plus sine pi over 2 sine u. All right? And now cosine of pi over 2, that's 90 degrees. Cosine, I've got to draw my little unit circle. Ah, cosine is 0. So I get this all becomes 0, plus the sine of pi over 2 is 1. So there we go. Sine u equals rip, sine u. And we're done. So I think you guys will be okay working in groups on tonight's assignment. Good luck, and I'll see you when I get back. May the math be with you.